Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Hi. I feel... I feel sad and angry already. How has this not even begun yet and I already feel two different types of emotions? I should be feeling nothing in terms of emotions right now. I should be sitting here and there should... There should be just a blank image. It should be like an empty Easter basket. There's no way I should have any type of emotion. Welcome to MLB The Show Battle Royale, where hopes and dreams just become shattered all over the place. Well, I guess if you're actually somewhat good at this game, then this is exactly the opposite of what I just said. But if you are not worthy of anything greatness related like myself, then this is exactly where it leads to. Sadness and anger. I have not played this mode yet, so thank God the first one is free. They're not stealing my stuff this early. I would love to calculate how many total stubs have been spent on this damn mode in the total time that I've been playing this game's series. Now, this is already tough. I don't know. I don't, is it? Listen, I'm gonna say this again because it's the legitimate truth. If you just search MLB The Show 22 on the YouTube search bar, you'll be seeing many videos telling you what you need to do and what is good to do in this game. Well, this is where I go to show you what not to do. Everything you are about to see in this video, do the exact opposite of it, and then you will succeed at this. I love Mickey Mantle. I mean, he's probably one of my favorite Diamond Dynasty cards in the history of this game's cycle, so I mean, that was kind of obvious. I think I was once told once by someone who was actually very damn good at this game that you don't really need to take insane pictures. If you take a bunch of pitchers who have just a good variety of pitches, you don't even really need to look at the hits per nine. I'm just rallying that information. Velocity in Battle Royale is about as useless as going to a Costco checkout with a visa. There's no sense of even looking at it. Anyone with, they could have a hundred million. I don't know. This is a new card in the game. Why not try it out, right? This is a test. This is 1000% a test right now. See, like, this is pretty solid. This is a silver, and this is probably the best reliever I've seen. But can you pass up Vlad Jr.? That's the question. I would be... I mean, this shouldn't even be a tough decision. This should be very simple, actually, but I'm just very... feel bad. Can you go back in time? This is an awful bronze round. This is when this just gets annoyed. When you just go through all this shit and then bad rounds appear. Alright, this is actually very good. Spend more time stressed out in the draft menu. I'm gonna take the advice that I once got and not even bother. I'm just gonna go with the offense this game because I need to put up runs. I'm going for the relievers or even starters with a really good pitch selection. That's what the plan is right now. Everyone else can fuck off. All right, well, former Tampa Bay Rays legend Austin Meadows might actually be... Oh, wait, hold on. Are you shitting me? Please tell me that's just not gonna happen again. This shit is so good, man. I'm telling you right now, this is the most underrated snack that's ever been invented. You can eat a whole bag of these and still be hungry. So now what? This isn't even gonna work. This could be out for like five minutes or I'll be here till 2 a.m. again. Honestly, I have never seen a more perfect example of what the hell takes place when you play BR. You're fucking pissed off before you even get into a game.
what makes a good snack? In terms of where I'm at in my life, I like to take into consideration the amount of healthiness is in it. I feel like if I eat anything unhealthy at this point, I just hate myself even more. It has to be somewhat healthy. It has to not make you feel like a piece of shit after it. I mean, Cinnabon is good but I just want to melt into sludge after I eat it. I read once that it's impossible to gain weight from eating just popcorn like this. Not like movie theater popcorn, but just somewhat healthy popcorn like this. And then I also saw an article the same day explaining why cats meow at only humans and not other cats. Listen, unless the cat opened up their mouth and said why that's happening, I don't want to hear it. All right, so a little bit after that was uh, might be working again. Only question now is for how long? This is why this might be dangerous actually and might put this a little bit more in the terms of this is going to be extra annoying. What happens if the servers go down in the middle of the BR game? Darren O'Day is the most misleading card I've ever seen in my life. This guy might have 93 hits per nine all he wants. Every single time you use him in BR, it's BP. But with that being said, he's probably the best card in this round. Dude, if fucking Kniebel or Kniebel or whatever the hell his last name is actually had something other than just two pitches this would be very good I mean this early in the game you're not really gonna get like earth-shattering rounds because there's not that many cards in the game you need a lefty in the bullpen so fuck it take someone from the Orioles so Jake Arietta sighting actually might not even be the worst option Pavin 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 plus 20 what? Well, if he's gonna be getting inside edges like that, all right, this is getting kind of to the point where it's getting more scary because the diamond rounds are over with and now I'm just getting most of the bronze rounds and they're not looking very good. I might be incredible with Segura in this game and every single day that I've seen Taylor Rogers, he's had a terrible downgrade. Wow, this guy's actually not bad. Fuck it, I'll take him. That's not, you can use pitchers this year or even in the last two, I think it was, you can draft a pitcher and it's a starter and it's not even a big deal. God, I don't know, dude. Jesus, you need to get one more lefty in there. Gary, oh boy. This is the BR card you need. That's like the definition of the perfect card. Wow, Mackenzie Gore, all right. Well, that might be the lefty. I think you have to take Rivera. All right, whatever. From my experiences anyway, if you play someone who's incredible at this game, it doesn't matter what kind of pitcher you have on the mound. They're going to do something anyway. It's only really against the below average players like me where putting a lefty in against a lefty does something. Talk about a waste of a round. There's not even any pitcher spots left and I have to take a damn common in the starting rotation or the what? The damn lineup who can probably be replaced, hopefully. Bobby, wait a minute. What am I even looking at? Jesus, mother of shit. Miguel Sano. No, and Gary Sanchez are the perfect people you want in this. Now comes the most important part. You know what, dude? I wouldn't even be that much against putting Miguel Sano at third base, although who do... This might work out. Put Didi at second, and then put Gloss at short, and then you put Sano at third. Then you put Garcia in for Pavin Smith. I mean, Newt Bar needs to be used. He might be the pinch hit option that changes everything in this. This is actually not bad, man, but I say that every single time, so you can't even really believe it. I have a, I have a left. I have a couple lefties, actually. This guy isn't that bad, and he has, you know, he can get the job done, maybe. I'm just trying to convince myself that he can probably do something. I guess, no, never mind. This isn't a big deal. I thought for sure that this was, no. Taking two gold starters isn't a big deal. You can still use them out of the bullpen. You can start one of them and they'll have a lot of energy too, hopefully. I don't know. It seems like everyone's energy is plummeting as soon as they throw two pitches. That wasn't a good draft, to be honest. The best damn card in that was gloss, maybe. All right, well now, hopefully this counts because, wow, imagine that. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna be fucking pissed off because you go through all this and then if it disconnects in the middle of it, then you have to start all over again. Is BR even safe to play right now? This is indeed the benefit as, or what? At choosing, as. At choosing a starter, gold starter for the first game. Alright, well this guy is zero and zero, so what do you, what do you think? I don't know why I chose Coors Field. I am very much regretting this now. I feel like for BR games, you need to take the most dead stadium. The stadium where the air quality is so shitty that the ball barely leaves the infield. Well, 
now I regret bringing that popcorn back up. Been waiting more than I've actually been playing the game right now. This is exactly what I'm saying. Before the game even begins in BR, I have a huge feeling inside right now that this guy is going to be swinging. I really thought that he was going to be swinging at everything. He just looks like he's going to swing at everything. Swung at the first pitch of the game. Please don't be bad. I don't need this to prove to me that I made a mistake. I need this to prove to... Oh, no. And he misses it. Drops in and no throw. Oh so is this gonna be different than last year? Dude, how the motherfuck is this still a thing? Remember last year when you could pretty much put anybody you wanted to at first base and third base and they would get the job done. Maybe fielding means something over at the corners this year because I've been seeing a lot of mistakes made. That should be sailing in the air. The fact that I just missed that, remember, this is just a test, all right? This is nothing significant. This is only... This one's got a chance. Bounces off the It's a test. Win or lose, this is nothing. Distance? If Gary has ever been scary. The fact that Gary Sanchez is a low overall this year is going to be a nightmare for BR purposes. Everybody's going to have him as their catcher. Love his tenacity. And now this one's a rocket to right. Talk to me, Gary. Say it to me. I want blood. Just leave. Listen, don't really pretend that Will Smith can't do something here. He has very good power versus righties right now. He also has good power with the righty, if you know what I'm saying. It was kind of surprisingly high for his power versus righty. See, like, now Sano makes that good play. I don't even think people play BR to win. I firmly believe people play BR just to fuck around. If that isn't pitch of the century, I don't know what is. Fucking R2 shit still is here. It won't go away. That's a laser face hit, and that's gonna get into the corner. It's like that fly on the wall in your garage you can't get rid of. Stamina this year is tripping me the fuck out, dude. I don't know if you can throw more than 10 pitches in an inning in BR. Please don't turn on this. Don't. He has Vlad batting eighth. What on earth is happening right now? Swing and a miss. I'm sorry. I need Sano to make up for what he did in the first inning, all right? This is going to leave, too. Swings here and last one left field. And it's out of here. What? Are you tell Don't tell me Aaron Loop is going to be usable again after the season he had. That's, that's not right. If Aaron Loop gets a high 90s card, dude, it might be the best lefty in the damn game. He is almost off the mound when he's throwing the ball. Look at this shit. He's going to go upstairs, I know. Kicks and fires. To the right side and nice hit. I don't remember scoring three runs, but I just need maybe 50 more. Up again? Boy, would this be a perfect time to bring in Lars Nootbaar right now. I don't even really have a righty who can do anything. Loop is going to single-handedly give me nightmares in this mode. Doesn't even warming anybody up besides Paul Fry. I don't know. It almost seems like sometimes it's better to not warm anybody up. It seems like, oh, never mind. He has a couple of scary bats coming up soon. I mean, he doesn't really have somebody. Oh, wait, what did I just throw? I don't think I just threw the right pitch. You get the leadoff guy out, it's all over for him. I guarantee it. It will not go good for him. Like, what's going to work right now? I'm trying to throw something. Oh, I just picked the wrong pitch again. Throw it away. Oh, that worked. I cannot explain to you in words how important that was. Don't even think about it. Maybe not a bad idea from him, to be honest, but don't fucking do it, asshole. Why not lay one down, really? I don't even know if he has a hit yet. That's gorgeous. Unbelievably good. Oh my god, stop it, stop it. I'm falling apart here. Don't walk him. Get this idiot out immediately. And it just ends like that, huh? Make you sweat from your ankles. 
and then it ends so simply. Well, this has actually gone by a lot quicker than I thought. The amount of time I had waiting and eating popcorn just made me feel like I've been sitting here for maybe hours and it's only been like 45 minutes, although that is a long time. I don't know, man. I just, I, this was just a test, all right? Like, I just wanted to get my feet a little bit wet here. I didn't really plan on the first run, obviously, being one that can take me to the promised land. I still have a lot. What the hell did I just see? I have a lot of work still before everything goes the way I want it to go. Gary might be the best person of all time. If Gary Sanchez can carry me to the promised land, I will only wear a Gary Sanchez jersey the rest of my life.